on both sides we can find examples of hasty generalization fallacies wherein one abhorrent act or que questionable act is carried out by members of a certain political persuasion and subsequently their opponents latch on to that fringe case and paint the entire side with the same brush. Um, you know, oh, th there was a, an NRA rally um, in the, you know, Houston, Texas, and here's one redneck saying that even mentally ill folk and criminals shouldn't be stripped of their Second Amendment. Ergo, all pro gun folk are lunatics, right? Um, so, th th and th this is an issue that I take with Stephen Crowder is he will, you know, I mean, here he here he's uploaded um, a fifteen minute video where he goes to a drag show and basically just finds the worst possible little glimpses and sort of like tractor beams onto it and um, blows it out of proportion and is hyperbolic about the whole thing. I've watched this video already and you know it's really not that bad. I mean with the, the, the drag show, the question of whether or not kids should be allowed to attend drag shows in theory, yes. I mean, a drag show is defined as a form of entertainment um, performed by drag artists impersonating men or women. Now, that in and of itself isn't is fine in my eyes. I mean, a pantomime is, is technically that. Mrs. Doubtfire is technically that, as a lady highlights in this video. I mean, I watched Mrs. Doubtfire. I went to pantomimes with, with relative frequency. As a child, and I turned out fine. I'm regular, but um, but 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 still, it it is important to see behind the scenes. So I do appreciate Stephen Crowder's sort of hands-on journalism, where he does put boots on the ground and document what's going on. So I do still appreciate this video. But let's take a look and just dissect it and see if there's any real issue. I think I think the main issue is that it's it's not the drag shows themselves. It's the fact that these drag shows are injected with such a radical ideology and there are there are many um, folks in the LGBT community on the radical left who are trying to um, force this ideology upon their kids and I've seen clips of um, you know uh, mothers like uh, with their kids and their kids look kind of reluctant um, to get TRT or hormone blockers or whatever it is but the mother seems to be kind of um, s sort of pushing them towards it with, with a broom handle um, uh, but, but of course that's not that's not the whole LGBT community and we've got to remember that but also um, take take these anomalies into account. Let's see. This is the Drag to Kids to Pride event. Organizers promoted it as a family friendly drag show. It's glitter, it's fun and it's a show. It's all for a great cause. It's a G rated drag show. Coming out of the closet means when you tell everybody uh, that you're gay. <sighs> I don't take any issue with that because that is something that happens in life. That's something that happens. Um, I think it. I think the problem, of course, is this is a gay man, and he is wearing women's clothes, and it could be seen as encouraging the kids, kind of trying to sway the kids in the direction of being LGBT, and of course, um, I think as a general rule. Whilst you know LGBTQ people should be able to um, 
exercise their, their freedoms. I do believe that heterosexual folks are happier generally because they they can they have the option to replicate their DNA. And I will also concede that a lot of the reason they're happier is because they're not culturally um, they don't have the cultural press they don't have the cultural pushback on their sexual orientation uh, you don't get you don't get antagonized for being straight you don't and some people will be hyperbolic on the right and say oh being a straight cis white man is like is like being a Jew in, in, in the 1930s it's it's not it's not it's that's that's hyperbolic that's theatrical let's steer away from that um being gay is something that exists so but I I don't know I'm, I'm just maybe sort of backpedaling now because should kids be exposed to this kind of rhetoric because what does being gay mean it means anal sex right it means sodomy not to get vulgar but that is that's essentially what they're saying right That's what they're saying. That they're they're putting that in the kids' heads at a young age, and and I don't think that's right. So let me take back what I said previously. It's something the gay people have to do. Jasmine, you're one of the youngest and first drag queen slash kids. It's come to a world where drag kids actually exist. And people do ketamine on the couch. Did you hear that? And people do ketamine on the couch. That's not okay, guys. Guys, that's there's no excusing that. Even as a joke. Kids don't need to know about horse tranquilizer, guys. Even if it's something that exists, which it does exist, why are you t- why are you planting these seeds in these these children's minds? It, it, that is despicable. Go marching in the big it's also very forced, you know. It it it, it is ideologically driven. It's so forced because this isn't this isn't entertaining. I mean, you know, kids aren't entertained by this. It's it's for the adults. Um, Drag shows are are not. Kids should be playing with Lego and or, or dolls houses. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be seeing this kind of graphic content. What's that? But let's see if it is child friendly. I, I don't think in theory a man dressing up as a woman isn't child friendly in and of itself. But is the content going to be sexual? Let's see. Uh-huh. Drag shows that brand themselves as child friendly or all age where? welcome Sorry, have been popping up. Where are the um where are the women? Are there not like women versions where women dress up as men? I suppose that wouldn't be as exciting because Male attire is more <laughs> respectable. <laughs> not respectable. It's not outlandish. Like, what would you wear? Like, a really nice suit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, or you know, what, what would you even? How would you even do that? Ages welcome have been popping up across the country from Palm Springs to Dallas. So we all know it was only a matter of time before one showed up in suburbia, USA, and that's exactly what. It's it's just not my thing <coughs> either, and I'm gonna try and. I'm trying not to let that um, guide my my take on this. I'm trying to see it through the lens of is this permissible for children rather than is this just a fucking circus. Um, but I will just put that out there. These are not for me whatsoever. What happened this past weekend in Roanoke, Texas? Newly opened Anderson Distillery and Grill decided to... I'm trying to cast my mind back to the pantomimes as a child. How did I view... Was I... Terrified when I saw Mae McFetridge um, dressed up in a, in, a, in a fancy frock and a big wig. 
I just thought it was weird. You know, it was nothing more than weird. But I, I don't think it. I don't think that alone had any impact on me, consciously or subconsciously. I just thought, oh, that's weird. That's a man in a dress. Um, so maybe, and, and I get obviously that's what they're trying to alleviate. Um, I, if we need to sit these people down and say, look, what is your objective? Is your objective just to alleviate? and get rid of the stigma that it's weird for men to wear women's clothes or is your objective to actually um, pioneer a whole new generation of kids into wearing women's clothes into um, becoming homosexual because I, if that's the case I don't th- I think if, if the latter is the case then we need to condemn these um, with every cell of our of our soul, um, that's it's not okay. But it, if it if it's just oh look, we exist. We're men who dress up in women's clothes. We exist. We're a thing, and that's the end of it. Then I think that's permissible. But um, but I don't know. I, we don't know what the ramifications of this will be because it's only it's only fresh. It's something that's only really cropped up in the past couple of years child-friendly, that's the key word here, child-friendly drag show on Sunday, August 28th. Of course, this raised some concerns online, especially in the conservative-minded Roanoke, I mean, closed-minded Cretan. So the owner took to Facebook in advance to assure everyone that the drag performances would be positively PG, John Hughes-esque. Now, of course, while I had absolutely zero reason to not believe this drag show would be PG as advertised, as a reputable journalistic outfit, I wanted to make sure that I and my team was doing all of our due diligence. So I sent them out undercover as specialists to get the not so skinny on the drag show and see exactly how kid friendly. See, I don't. I'm not a fan of this kind of just taking one still frame and, and the red circle because it seems. You're just taking these little snapshots and then you're assigning your own narrative um, to said snapshots. And I, I don't know if that's really the best way to go about um, I don't know. I don't know if I would call that honest journalism. On the drag show and see exactly how kid-friendly it was. Over here. My team's findings were, well, uh, just watch. How are y'all doing? How's it going? Doing all right. Good. <sighs> Oh, it's going to be a busy day. You guys got your own personal security. <laughs> Surprisingly, the first thing that greeted my team outside of the distillery, sorry, child-friendly distillery that was hosting the drag show was the overabundance. Yeah, I mean, that's not a very child-friendly scene there. Um, of strapped to the gills, black block and Antifa members surrounding. I would be terrified. If I saw that, I would, I would certainly be terrified, let alone, never mind the, 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 the drag artists. But if I saw this, I would be... Terrified. Um, that's not to say that um, we shouldn't have people bearing arms in the street. Uh, the onus is on the parents to keep the children away from scenes that may may scare them. But um, but that that's I wouldn't. Th- this isn't a good look right here. It's not a good, not great optics. It says child friendly like people decked out in tactical gear and pride flags. But my team needn't worry. FBI Director Christopher Ray assured us that Antifa is not a group. It's nothing more than an ideology. We look at Antifa as more of an ideology or a movement than an organization. Y'all doing all right? We're not trying to start anything. We just want to see what's going on, what brought you out. So it seems that we're not being welcomed into here. We're not trying to start stuff. Say, that seems like a pretty organized ideology. After all, though, it's hard to believe that 30 individuals showed up to the same event dressed in the same clothes and all following the exact same blueprint. Only thing missing is the gay gang signs. Okay, well, you're free to protest as America, so please continue to do so. I cannot get a response from anybody. I don't know, we're just trying to talk to people, but it seems that none of them want to talk. You can look at here, I'll give you the website. Yeah. What is it? untblogs.art.blog. Uh, blog. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. Oh, there, you go. there you go. All right. Now, in the spirit of balance, I would be remiss if I didn't point out 
the counter protesters uh, who also looked extremely intimidating. What's going on here? Let's pick that apart. Are you insulting me, Mr. Tolerant? Um, again, did she, did uh, uh, the uh, Antifa have not? Antifa claim to be anti-fascist. That doesn't mean that they can't insult people. <laughs> you know, every if you're if you're a member of Antifa, you're saying you're against fascism. You're not saying <laughs> insulting people is not fascism, right? Um, what, this idea of the tolerant left, the left have never been tolerant. The left have never been tolerant. Um, to but uh, you know, they're tolerant towards. Those whose idea whose uh, ideologies align with theirs, they're tolerant to gay people. They're tolerant to socialists, uh, but they're not tolerant to the, the opposite side. But I don't think they've really the, the idea of the tolerant left is something that um, I think the right kind of created and then imposed upon the left. Um, I don't really hear many. I don't hear anyone unironically refer to themselves as a tolerant leftist do you know what I mean so again that, that, that that's a that's an ad hominem attack from that lady get this yeah they are anti-police though so it's for us I mean most of them are, antifa are generally anti anti-police so it's interesting to see uh you know when when when, uh, when rubber meets the road who does who does this lady go to for support? Um, the police, right? Anti-fascist, but um, but you, you'll, you'll go to the police for assistance when you need it. What are the rules with the protest, just so we're clear on everything? I mean, stay on. just everybody stay on their side. And so far, it's it's been good. You know, as long as you know they stay there, they stay there. That's fine. Are those actual weapons that yeah. have strapped yeah. on? They look real. It's legal to have. It is Texas. Yeah. The only time we've had issues today is when people migrate over to one side. So. Really opposing side. Yeah. So he's basically saying just every side needs to stay on their side. I know that's probably not actually what the legality of the Constitution says, but it probably makes the most sense for what's going on. So. Um, we have some people trying to start stuff. The cops roll through. The cops rolled out. I don't know. We'll be here. Let's hope nothing pops off too much. I went over Let's there and saw somebody I knew. Right. You put your hands on me. And all of a sudden, I get like seven or eight of them come up to me. Seven or eight of them come up to me. Get off of here. Get out of Get off this property. Every day, we should wake up and say, how can we make our country better? But my whole thought process is, let me have freedom of my speech, too. You know, if somebody wants to change my ways, I'll listen to anybody. But you know what? Show me the respect to listen to my opinion. This is, okay, you know what? I don't have a problem with it, but all this is this right is here. The thing, um, we're just trying to get a TikTok view. Kids don't even, kids aren't even told about heterosexual relationships at that age. You know, you get sex ed, I think. It, I mean, I, I, I think in primary seven, when I was 11 years old, they, they taught us a little bit about it, but... These kids in the video are, are, they look six, seven, eight, you know, they're not even being told about heterosexual relationships, so you can't use the argument really of, well, we're just saying gay people exist um, the same way as straight people exist, so we're just telling the kids that gay people exist. Well, the, the, the kids don't even really know that straight people exist yet, so let's... Let's deal. Let let them um, learn that first, and then go on to the the others, um, rather than, than than you know force the, the gay shit on them. Who's 11? Susie, you need a double vasectomy because you really want to be a boy. Susie doesn't know if she wants to be a boy or not yet. Uh, uh, you know, puberty blockers. She probably didn't know what she wanted to eat for breakfast. Right. What we're hearing from over there is the, the child angle. They're saying this is a sexualization of minors, opening up children to things that they should not be seeing. I think they just don't know the full story because this is not about, this is not about children. This is well, then don't, mar don't market it as a kid-friendly drag show. Just call it a drag show. Um... In fact, don't even kids shouldn't even be allowed. Don't don't even bring kids into the the drag show if there's going to be sexual content. As I say, if it's just men dressing up as women, 
I don't see any issue with that. Um, but if the, if there's sexual content here, um, it's got to be over 18s only, guys. And I teach middle school, so like it's important for my kids to know. Like, yeah. No, I love you because tomorrow you love him and then you love her, and you're gonna love a tree the next day. Yeah, about our kids, we're like, this is something great for them to see. Yep, you know, yep. Something different. Well, something different like, on it. I fought in the army for 23 years, six to point, so that y'all can do what you do and I can do. But don't involve children is all I'm saying. Just keep the children right. out of it. Are there children in there? I haven't been in there. Okay. I do not think so. If there are, they're with their families. So this is not this is not a, a kids drag show. It's a it's a child. It's a drag show that kids are allowed into, um, but it's not. It's not being targeted at targeted at kids. I mean, there we saw there were eight, eight or nine kids in there. Um, so it's just the kids are happening to stumble, stumble in to the show. Uh, but even still, I mean, they shouldn't really be in there if there's weird shit going on. Um, and they're just enjoying a great time. I know I said about taking stills out of context, but I mean, that's not, you know, you can argue that's just one little slip up um, and it's only an ass cheek and maybe the kid wasn't even looking at that particular moment in time. So there is a dis little bit of disingenuous journalism going on here, but you can't, I mean, that is not a good look really. Um, there's, there's a, that's a, that's a man's ass that a kid is looking at. Let's be honest. Um, yeah, yeah. Shut it down. Uh, yeah, e even though that is just one little snapshot, I, I do think that is a, that is. Yeah, that's not okay, guys. Come on, guys, that's not okay. I can't run. But let's leave it there. Um, I really like I really like seeing the actual because we hear so much about these drag shows from you know um, commentators sitting behind a desk and talking about them and the repercussions and the, the rationale behind them from the left and um, the psychological damage that it causes from the right uh, but to actually see it up close and personal is interesting so it's it's some it's some uh, illuminating journalism there Stephen Crowder is has given us. Um, I look forward to reviewing more of these in the future. Thank you guys.